Right then, take 26. Um, here's a quick video, although it's probably not going to be that quick, of how to link documents that are stored in your SkyDrive onto your Moodle course, and also how to embed documents that are stored on your SkyDrive so that they play on the Moodle course. Uh, I demonstrated this in the Teach Eat last Friday uh, and suggested that these were really good ways of actually uh, playing and using uh, Microsoft documents and files on Moodle rather than having students download them onto their uh, notebooks. Oops. Um, the other feature also is is that it then saves you time in editing because obviously if you put a file into Moodle and you've made a mistake you have to download that file, change it, re-upload it and so on and so forth. So having your files already stored in your SkyDrive means that the link is constant and you can edit them and update them on the fly and the changes will appear directly in Moodle. Now I'm not going to take you through how to set up SkyDrive. It should be here as a link on your desktop uh, in your My Documents or in your folders, your Explorer window. Uh, if you click on it, it will start the process to set up your account. Now what I then do is in my SkyDrive, uh, I copy and paste uh, the most important folders and files that I need. So this is kind of me using SkyDrive as a backup in the cloud. Now when you copy and paste them in, after a while, you'll find that the little folders have a green tick and the green tick indicates, I guess, that they are synchronized, that they are up there in the cloud uh, and you have a copy of them. So what I'm going to show you is, I guess, doing it from first principles of making a folder, uh, adding in a file, sharing it and then putting it into Moodle. So let's start with making a folder and uh, I make a folder well, this way. Click on new folder and I'm going to type in quiz. Now you'll notice that the little icon here is oh, you know, it's like one of these kind of sweets. It's kind of uh, blue with arrows. If I click off it, what will happen is after a while, once the computer has made up its mind and thought about it, it will eventually change into a green tick. There we go. So that basically shows that that file is now, or that folder is now on the SkyDrive. So let's go and have a look at it. To get to the SkyDrive, uh, the way I do it is right click on quiz. I've got a shortcut here to SkyDrive. Click on view on SkyDrive. And what should happen is down at the bottom, SkyDrive opens. Here we are. So I need to put in my username and my password. Which I keep forgetting. There we go. So this now takes me to my SkyDrive folder. And if I click on the SkyDrive link here, I'll go back a stage. And what you will see, hopefully, is a mirror of that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go there. Now I can, if I want, make the folder directly on the SkyDrive. So let's just show you this. If I click on uh, Create and Folder, and let's just call it Test and press Create here. There it appears. Where is it? There. And if I flip back to my SkyDrive, there it is there. So you can do it one of two ways. I'm going to press Delete. Yep. And if I go back into SkyDrive and uh, refresh, it should have deleted hopefully there where is it oh it's still there that's interesting oh there it is gone right next stage what I want to do now is to put a file in my quiz folder so I'm going to go into my quiz folder like this and then I'm going to go actually I'm going to go and search for a file um, what have I got? So I was going to e-learning. Let's just do a search for quiz. I think I'll go and find a PowerPoint. That's a good one. Moodle quiz questions. So I'm going to copy it and into my SkyDrive, into my quiz, and paste it in. And again, just with the folder, you can see that you get that funny looking arrow sign indicating that it's in the process of synchronizing. And you can see it's not actually in there yet because it's zero. So there we go. The file says it's in there and synchronized. And if I go and refresh here, da, 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 da. look at that. How magical is that? Click in the folder and there it is already in there. 
So what is the next step? Well, if I just go back to my SkyDrive, you'll notice that some of my folders have different permissions. These are public. So the thing I need to do is I need to make this folder public, which will allow people to access that folder. So to make my folder public, I simply move on top of it. And can you see there's a little tick box here? I can tick that box, which means that any changes I make is just uh, linked to that box. I can then go to sharing and I can click on get a link. And there are various options that I can have to this folder. Um, and I can send that link out so people can have a direct link to that folder. I am going to click on make public like this. I don't, I'm not interested in sending the link out, so I'm just going to press close. And there you go. Can you see that now my quiz is public? So if I go into my folder, this is now public too. So anything inside that public folder becomes public, which means that I can share it. So how do I go about sharing? Well, just as before, you move your mouse over to the feature and you find the little box there and tick it. And when you tick it, you'll notice that there is a new set of icons up here. So if I click on embed, because I'm actually going to paste this into, uh, I'm going to show this in my Moodle page. It asks me to generate the HTML code. Now don't get too worried by this. Uh, I don't, I just simply press the button and it puts in some of this kind of code here, which I guess looks a bit strange, but that's all right. Copy the code, well, it's already highlighted, so I can copy it and press done. So now I've got the code that will hopefully link to this PowerPoint to display it. So let's get off to Moodle. I should have a Moodle course. Here it is here. So here's my Moodle course and I'm going to uh, embed that PowerPoint presentation. Well, embedding the presentation uh, is best done um, by making a page. So if I click on add activity or resource, I'm going to go and choose a page because it allows me to put the PowerPoint in as well as do some writing. Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Page, here it is here. Click Add. Uh, give it a title. What makes a quiz? Oh, brief description. And then in here, this is just like a web page, I can write my own instructions. So, uh, so different Moodle quiz features. I could go and write some more, but I haven't got time. I'm going to change this to heading one. There we go. So there's my title. So now I need to copy and paste that code so the PowerPoint sits in there and plays. And what I do is I click on HTML, click at the end of the P, and hopefully if I paste, there is my code still there. Press update and watch. Here comes the magic. Ta -da. Now, I've gone a little bit too far, so let's go backspace and backspace. There is my embedded page. So if I just scroll down and I'm just going to press save and return to the course, there it is, what makes a quiz. Now, if I click on it to open it, it will open in a page. And there is my slide in a kind of um, easy to look at, easy to read. Uh, feature and if I click on here, I simply it's a bit like SlideShare. Uh, I can see all the files. However, if I then move to this one here, open a new window, it will open up in its own location. In fact, it will kind of go back into SkyDrive. And if I now go back to the start and press the spacebar, I'm actually going to be using all the animation features that I created like that. I could do the same thing by pressing start slideshow. So that's one way of actually showing or embedding your presentation. You might actually prefer to have the students going straight on to this large scale size. So how do we do that? Well, we do that by copying and pasting the link location. So let's get back to our SkyDrive. Here it is here. And again, same thing as before, I tick uh, the box with the file. And this time what I want to do is I want to go to shared. And if I click on shared, no, I don't want to do that, what an idiot. Tick on the box, I want to go to sharing, that's what I want to do. And here, if I press get a link like this, 
I now have some different options. And the one that I want to choose here is anyone can search for and view public files even if you don't share links. So I'm going to click on make public like this. And what I get now is a link, a link that takes direct takes me directly to that PowerPoint. Now I can shorten it if I want and I'll just kind of do a short link. That's if you want to kind of use Twitter and send it by that. So I'm going to copy that like this and then I'm going to go back into my uh, course. Here it is here. And this time, because I'm starting the learning, I'm going to introduce uh, a PowerPoint. I'm going to create a link to it. So click on add an activity and resource. And this time I want URL because that's the link. Where are you? Here it is here. Click on URL. Click on add. And then I'm just going to write watch this because I'm lazy. Watch this. Underneath external URL, click on it, paste in the link. There it is there. And then what I suggest in terms of the properties and features is click on appearance and rather display automatically, I would put mine in a pop up. And the reason why I do that is that it means that the original page stays where it is and this sort of floats on top of it. So I'm going to return to course. Let me just move this up to where it should go. Oh, that's interesting. I seem to have lost those features of moving. Let's stick it onto here. Right. Let's turn the editing off, actually. Let's see what it looks like properly. So here we go. Watch this. Click on the link. And what it will do is open up automatically. Like that. And again, if I press the space bar, here I go. So I've not had to download anything. I've not had to um, save anything. I'm playing this live on the from the cloud. Now, if I wanted to edit my file because I've made a mistake, well, um, what I could do is this. I could simply go back to my original file that's sitting on my SkyDrive, double click on it to open it. Here we go, and I could change this. Let's put this to here. Let's uh, change the background just so you can visually see the changes. Press close, select that. Press close. Oops, come on, background, format background. Select the color. There we go, close. And then I'm going to uh, save this and close it again. Now, Sometimes it takes just a little while for this to be recognized. Maybe a couple of minutes. Let's just see whether it'll work straight away. I'll refresh the page a couple of times just to kick it into action. Shall we see? Watch this. Has it changed? Has it changed? Done. There we go. How about that? That was fairly instant. So how much quicker is that? You can make changes on the fly. Uh, and alterations without going through that horrible lengthy process. Now there are other little features that you can do with uh, SkyDrive. So for example, if I go back to where uh, SkyDrive was originally um, and look at the permissions, um, if I just press close uh, and look at the permissions that I have here and click on get a link, I can allow people to edit files so you could actually put files up there and share them with people who could then edit them and save them, uh, which is a little bit more complex and possibly not what we would be doing at the moment with uh, with these PowerPoint files. So I've done that with PowerPoint. And obviously, you can do this with pretty much any Microsoft file. It doesn't work well with Publisher. In fact, it doesn't work at all with Publisher, but brilliant for PowerPoint, Word, PDF, and Excel. Uh, get in touch. Um, if you'd like to know more or uh, you'd like to have some support in doing it. There we go. How long was that? Probably quite a long time. Oh, 14 minutes. Time to stop. <laughs>